Hi there! In today's video I'm going to review the Google IT automation with Python professional certification that is offered through Coursera. If you are not familiar with Coursera or you want to go to check out the course directory on first, my partner link is down in the description below. So pause the video, check it out and then come back. So, so this is a challenging Python certification, but I think it's really worth it because of the credibility and the quality that Google has put into this certification. So in general, if you want to get into Python as a software developer, this is not the right course for you. So this is really a course for like starting into Python and getting some understanding of automation or when you work as a help desk technician, systems administrator or data analyst where you want to use Python and just improve your skills. And this is a great certification and it looks great on your resume. So in this video I will talk about the course itself but also provide insight into the pros and cons of this Python course at Coursera. I will also talk about if it will replace a degree or how or if the course will really help you to find find a job. So, but here's an important hint first. The statistics are against you. On average, most people will either never even start learning new skills or they give up at the slightest difficulty. So don't let that be you. Please give yourself the gift of starting and completing this course. I think you will really benefit from it. It may not change your life today or tomorrow, but if you look at it from a career development perspective, it is an investment into a brighter future. So just do it. Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Pertz and I'm a senior IT manager with over 22 years of IT experience. If you are unfamiliar with my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. In this video now I will review Google's most popular Python certification that is offered through Coursera. So let's take a look at what Python is and then we are going to check out what the Google Coursera offering is all about. The programming language Python is one of the most comprehensive programming languages and has become really a favorite among IT professionals as it really allows automation in areas like data analysis and system administration. So a lot of information security related administrators and engineers and analysts use it as well. So there's a great use case in so many different areas areas. There's also a lot of related courses and study material out there. So there's really, I want to say, an ecosystem where you can take your skills, build a foundation and then take it to whatever level you determine uh, where you want to have it. So, but in this video I will focus solely on the Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certification. The Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certificate is a course produced by Google and hosted on the Coursera platform. Coursera is a learning platform so only third parties upload their content. Coursera just provides a platform and really makes sure that everything is going accordingly. So this specific Python course is linked to the Grow with Google initiative and that is an initiative that aims to offer an economic opportunity through easy access to high quality technical knowledge. So Google is spending a lot of money and effort to offer affordable education. So that's really the right word, affordable education to allow people to enter a new field of work or to reskill if you want to refer to it like that. But it's also a great to expand your skills if you're already in this area. So Coursera is just the platform that students use and the content comes from the course provider. So in this case directly from Google. So what does a course have to offer? There are a total of six different courses or modules or chapters in this course. So it doesn't matter what you refer to. Google uses the term course. So there is a crash course on Python. That's the first course in there. Then second you have using Python to interact with the operating system as a second course. The third one is the introduction to Git and GitHub followed by number four which is troubleshooting and debugging techniques. So and you probably thought your first code would work flawlessly, right? You don't need debugging and troubleshooting. Well, you're wrong. So just kidding of course, debugging and troubleshooting are so important skills to have in any area of information technology. So I think no matter where you learn it, it adds to your toolbox if you want to see it this way. So by the way, help me troubleshooting this video's performance with YouTube. Hit the like button below, it will really help me. So in this course, the course number five, that's where you will learn about configuration management and the cloud. But before closing things within that course, there's a sixth one and that's where you learn about automating real world tasks with Python. So 
everything comes together at the very end. If you want to see the details for each of these subcourses, please pause the video, click on the link below and check out the entire curriculum at Coursera. So looking at this course content and the structure of it, I have to say I'm impressed but not really surprised by how good this course looks like. I'm a big admirer of Google's courses and training and so the Google IT automation with Python Professional Certificate course, that's not an exception. So what are the pros and cons of this course really? So this is a high quality course, not some cheaply thrown together type of stuff. Google is just really committed to this course and the entire initiative. So they make affordable education available to everyone. And you can see this with the quality of this course. So really don't underestimate the value and the time and effort that Google has put into this. The entire approach really works with just high quality content and a good quality presentation. So you have to find the good content, but it also needs to be presented in the right way. And this is done here with what Google has done. So thumbs up from my perspective. So what else is in this course really? So the other thing that I really like is that you're able to measure your performance and improvements with helpful quizzes that suddenly pop up. And these are included in the course. So it really gives you a good way to measure where you are. They pop up and kind of make sure that you're still paying attention too, so that you're not just drifting away so really they keep you engaged. I think that's very important with the course presentation. It's not necessarily the quality at that point, the quality is good, but some courses where the people just talk so slowly and you fall asleep, that's not it here. So the course is really well presented. Also with these quizzes, I think it's a great way to make sure that you are not just browsing through, touching a chapter and then moving on. So you wanna go through those quizzes and really have that measure point that tells you, okay, you're good, or maybe you should go back and do this one chapter again. There are interactive activities and you will be even writing some Python code along the way. So quite a few positive items here. So from that perspective, I'm really a big fan of what Google has done here, the content, the presentation and the engagement for you. It's really good. But now to the con. Will the Google IT automation with Python professional certificate course make you proficient and really skilled in Python? Nope, it won't. But that's fine. The course is a Python beginner level course and it provides you with some fundamental knowledge and skills that you can then use and take it and build on top of this foundation. So the foundation of your first house. You still have to build the house and learn more about Python and the automation portion as well. So you have Python itself, but also the automation. You have to look at the use cases where you wanna use it. And this is really just, I wanna say the introduction. I usually take these type of courses or the information that I can gain and then it really gets my creative juices flowing. And then I have so many ideas. It's like, okay, the day has only 24 hours and where did they go? So that's just my thought about it. So it's a beginner level course. You will not be a Python expert at the very end, but I think you will have a solid foundation to move forward. And yes, you will not be a software developer writing sophisticated Python code at the end of this course. So the other con that I want to point out is that the course does not give you any college credits. So it is a Google certification course with no recognition at the college education level. You know, there are some colleges out there that as an example, take the A plus certification and they give you credits for it. So this course here is not part of it. It's really just its own certification, but it looks great on your resume. And again, if you put the right level of effort and initiative in, it can take you long, long ways into a successful career. So speaking of college education, this Google IT automation with Python professional course will not replace a college degree in any way. And that is fine. So it's not just the college credits or it will replace a college degree. No, no, this is not what it's doing. And this is not the goal of this course. So these type of courses are for self-driven professionals like yourself. Think about upskilling and improving your skill set. Think about how it provides you with a more competitive skill set out in the job market. But you know what it takes? First, it requires a click on the like button below. And then I want you to take action and make a self commitment to yourself. Make it a commitment to the future you. Sign up for the course. Again, the link is below. And then you go through the course and earn that certification. So what is the worst thing that can happen in that case when you finish the course? Well, you may just walk away with the realization that Python is not for you, that you actually 
do not like it, you almost hate it. But you may also walk away being really motivated and well more, you want to tackle the next Python frontier and you want to upskill and, and bring your game to that next level. So maybe that's one of those takeaways, who knows? So what do you think what your future you will say about that? So, okay, I did not like it, but it was only a small investment. On the other side, the future you could say, this was the best money spent. This was just a few months. It was really affordable. And now look where I am. I'm making a six figure in Income, and part of this because of the Python course that Google offered for Coursera. So I really hope you give yourself this promise to start the course and commit to finish it. This was really what I wanted to do with this video, give you an introduction to this course. Hopefully you can see the pros and cons and where I'm coming from. So it's really upskilling, learning something new, small investment, easy to decide, yeah, it's not for me, or easy to decide, yes, I really like this. This is what I want to do. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you really think about it. Also, let me know in the comments if you decided to take the course and when you finished it as well. I really like to cheer you on. So, and yes, please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't done so. Hit that notification bell. You will be notified when I upload a new video every time and it could be a life-changing video, so who knows. Have a great day. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.